Let's go ahead and get started. First thing, would you please introduce yourself, Coach? My name is Dan Watson, and I'm the uh, men's soccer coach at Williams Baptist College. Williams Baptist College. Where, where is Williams Baptist College? Williams Baptist is located in northeast Arkansas, close to, to, to Jonesboro, probably the largest city. Okay, so on the way to Memphis for us yes, uh, yes, Springfield right, kids right, going through you know, West right, Plains. Right by Walnut Ridge, which is uh, very close to the college. Okay. Uh, you guys are what, NAIA? Is that what I heard? We're NAIA. Uh, we play in the American Midwest Conference, uh, largely with schools out of Missouri. Okay. Such as what's, what other schools? Columbia, uh, William Woods, Missouri Baptist. Oh, my. Those Hannibal, are some right. Hannibal LaGrange, okay. Harris Stowe. Gotcha. Uh, and then Park. No, I'll know all yeah. those schools. Well done. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's talk. Are there, tell me a little bit about the school. What is it about your school that uh, is unique? Williams Baptist is a, a small, private, uh, uh, Christian college. It is Baptist. It's uh, supported by the uh, Arkansas Baptist State Convention. So it is definitely a college that um, has a, a fairly conservative uh, culture, mm -hmm. conservative environment. Uh, we uh, certainly do have a number of church-related majors, but also would have some more of the more typical uh, majors you would expect, uh, business, education, uh, psychology, uh, uh, in fact, education is one of our largest uh, majors on campus. We're, uh, we're at, hanging out at Lake Country Soccer in Springfield where you're attending the college showcase event and the reason we're talking is to talk about college recruiting. Sure. You, you've made the trip up here. You, you've had some success finding a couple players over the last couple of years. Yes, we, uh, we had, uh, well I, I, I did recruit uh, one, had one come play for us uh, just a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Came um, out and uh, did well, actually started quite a few games as a freshman for mm -hmm. us. So I know I, an event like this and this particular one uh, can be successful and it's a good chance to um, maybe make contact with the coach for the first time, let them actually see what you can do, especially this time of year when it's, when it's cold and there's not a lot going on. So. <laughs> not as many if you're not attending sure. the college yeah. showcase events for the D1 prospects, for example. What, uh, the, the, the intent of this conversation is to talk about the recruiting cycle. What is a standard recruiting cycle the kid from Springfield might expect working with you? Well, of course, um, uh, Missouri plays in the fall, uh, as, as we do. It's a little different in Arkansas because mm -hmm. uh, Arkansas's uh, season is in the spring. Right. Uh, but, uh, of course, in the fall, around the uh, college program, I'm going to try to uh, see as many games as I can. Uh, in Missouri. And so you'll attend games. high school side boys I'll, games? I will attend, sure. I will attend some games when I can, mm -hmm. um, and that's uh, that's a good measure. I always like to do that. Uh, different coaches I know use a different percentage of uh, seeing them play versus coming for a tryout. Some require both. I usually um, I usually don't require both. It's it's sometimes difficult for traveling and all, and, and if I can go and watch a player play, oftentimes that's uh, that's sufficient. Well, you mentioned tryouts. That's not something that a D1 program can do, is that? But within NAIA, a kid could contact uh, you and come down for a tryout? Yes, in uh, NAIA, they can come and try out. Um, so that being actually they're... playing with the team and getting another sure, team then? Sure, they can work out. So they that's, the, out. that's sure. the, the type of cycle they might go for. They can, they can uh, do that, come and try out, and that helps them also meet the players and kind of get a feel for the team. For well. the team and the school. Right, and now, the now they do have to be careful, of course, and they cannot do that in season. In, in, in yeah, well, not when they're actually season. playing right. high school. Right. But, but for That's now, for a kid, right. it's February, they sure. still don't have a position. They could go visit any NAI school they wanted and actually try out and get to sure. visit the campus. Sure. How, do they, uh, how do they reach out to you? What's the recommended process? Uh, most, most initial contacts I receive are probably through an email, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably the best. Uh, and uh, to... Um, Send an email if, if there's some contact of some sort, somebody you knew or somebody mentioned us. Uh, it's always nice to kind of make a, a connection of some sort. Right. Um, I, I had a friend that went to Williams even right. is, is, is sometimes helpful. Or, or in our case, we often hear it through uh, a church, for instance, our, our youth minister mm -hmm. uh, knew something about Williams. That helps us out because it helps us know you've got some contact with a college beyond just, I want to just come play soccer and I want to find anywhere I can go. Um, if you're a good enough player, that may be grounds enough. But 
you know, we're looking for, for, for players who are not just going to play soccer, but are going to fill into the college. They're going to fit into the environment of the college, the culture of the college, be involved as a student. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of time and energy to uh, go through the whole process and come to college. We want you to stay for, your, for the effort it took you and for the effort it took us. And that works out better if, um, if you fit into the college uh, beyond just the soccer program. And so if you have some connection to the college, that's helpful, and I would, I would mention that. Uh, obviously, telling you a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your, your, uh, your, your soccer background uh, is, is, is helpful. Grades are also helpful. You know, it, it's, it's, be, uh, it's pointless if you don't have the mm -hmm. eligibility requirements. One of the things that sounds, NAIA is a bit different, obviously, uh, it, it is what I'm learning, but uh, I know that soccer camps and soccer videos are two possibilities that kids consider or parents will contact me about. Tell me about soccer videos. Have you ever actually had any success? Is that a valuable tool? A, uh... I have had limited success. It. Um... Honestly, with the, with most, the video? Yes, with most videos, especially game video that people send me, mm -hmm. and maybe it's just me, I have a hard time seeing what's going on. Who the player is, Who, if there's enough. The player, most are taken at ground level, and you have no real sense of what's happening. The context of the game or how the player is responding. Very difficult. What about camps? Do you work at camps? I, I don't do a lot of that. I know a lot mm -hmm. do, and uh, because of my setup, I don't, I don't do a whole lot right. of that. But I know uh, many do, and many rely on that as a way of, of finding players and seeing players for the first time. So I know that uh, can be a good opportunity for, uh, for a player to go and be seen um, in, in, in uh, a lot of different situations. College showcase tournaments. Kids, boys will be playing high school club, club soccer at this stage of the game, and they're signed up for uh, three or four college showcases at this point. Is that a, an active recruiting tool for you in the, in, at your program? And I, I, I do try to go. Um, I do try to go and see those. Those, uh, those can be helpful. Somewhere it's, in the region, St. Louis, sure. Memphis, sure. Little Rock, areas of that nature? Yes. Uh, those would be the, probably about the furthest that I would go to. Okay. Yes, those can be very helpful. Uh, there's a lot of players. It's often difficult because there's mm -hmm. so many players at some of these events. It's hard to kind of stand out. But and that's why, especially if, if you had some contact before a showcase, it's far better. I can go to a showcase and say, okay, I'm, I'm looking at this player. Right. If, I'm, if I'm nothing, the chances of you just standing out are not near as high. Right. So, so summarizing. Uh, Learn about a program and a school first and foremost, and if, if there's an interest in that program, reach out to the coach, sure. initiate some contact, give some basic information, name, rank, seal, number, grades, uh, club programs or, or high schools you played in, and then find a way to allow you to evaluate the kid in a playing environment, sure. either by here's the showcases I'm going to, or, the, or here are, or you know, games. or schedule a visit to the campus would be a great one, it sounds sure. like in your case. Sure, and they can do that. Uh, what we try to do is um, uh, work with the admissions counselor so that they can go ahead and come in, see the college, meet with some professors who'll be teaching in their department and kind of do all that at the same time, right. which often we can. So especially if it's a two or three hour drive, you, you uh, kill two birds with one stone. Which is a perfect distance from Springfield. Mom and dad can't, <laughs> can't drop in on you, but well, you're close enough to come home and do home laundry and, do and get a, get a right. home, home cooked meal before. every once in a while. Sure, sure. Remind us again, what's your name, Coach? Dan Watson with, with Williams Baptist College. Thank you very much. You're welcome.